Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is August 22nd, 2020. This is my 27th episode about vector calculus and classical electromagnetism. In our previous episode, episode 26, we installed the Python official package on Windows. If you haven't watched this video, I highly recommend you to watch this video and install Python official package properly on your machine. In my current episode, I will install Boost C++ library on Windows. Start your web browser, boost.org, hit enter. From this website, don't click download. Click getting started. Scroll down, getting started on Microsoft Windows. Please read this message carefully. It says on Windows, other command shell such as MinGWs, MCs are not supported. Now scroll down, scroll down. We have to download either this package or this package. Please double click it. Then I will download this one. Double click it. We have to select Windows Boost 173. Please select the correct one. Now show in folder. Right click. Extract all. Browse. System. DEV soft. Select folder. We are extracting here. Click extract. Please be patient. It will take some time. We successfully unzipped. In our DB soft folder, we can find boost 173. This folder, copy, paste. We will make a backup copy. If we fail to install or build, then we can use this backup copy to try again. After installing or building successfully, we can remove the backup copy. Now double click this folder, copy the folder fast, copy, start your command prompt, cd, paste, hit enter, c colon, you should be in dev soft boost 173 folder. Please watch carefully, boot, strap, Hit enter. It says failed to build boost.build engine. We have to provide VC142. In my case, I use Visual Studio 2019. If you are using Visual Studio 2019, you have to provide VC 14.2. If you are using Visual Studio 2017, you have to provide VC 14.1. For more information about the toolset version of Visual Studio, you can double click this link. In this documentation, the toolset version, version 14.0 for Visual Studio 2015, 14.1 for Visual Studio 2017, 14.2 for Visual Studio 2019. Please refer this documentation. Hit enter again. Please be patient. So, generating boost.build configuration project config gem for Microsoft Visual C++ 14.2 bootstrapping is done to build dot slash b2 dot slash b2 hit enter please be patient
It will take some time. Please be patient. Boost C++ libraries were successfully built. The following directory should be added to the compiler include path. So copy this text, copy, right click, search, environ, environment variables, environment variables. This is include path, edit, new, paste. Hit enter, click OK. We also need the following directory should be added to link library path. Copy this, copy, select LIV, edit, semicolon, paste. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Start file explorer, C drive, DEV soft, boost, stage, LIV, it includes LIV files. These are static library. MT stands for multi-threaded, 32-bit, 64-bit static library. The file size is relatively small, so we can use static library. We built Boost library successfully. We don't need DLL library. Then I will delete backup copy. Some of you may insist DLL library. This is 64-bit DLL library. We are using Microsoft Visual C++ 14.2. This is for Visual Studio 2019. So I will copy this to build DLL. Paste it here. Hit enter. We are building DLL library. The Boost C++ library was successfully built. Now we built X64 64-bit DLL library. In File Explorer, Stage, X64, LIV, it includes both LIV and DLL, 64-bit. If you want to build using Visual Studio 2019 32-bit, then you have to use this command. If you want to build using Visual Studio 2017 64-bit build, then use this command. In this case, if you want to use DLL, we have to change this LIV path. Copy, right click, search, environ, edit system environment variables, environment variables, LIV, edit, we have to change Edit, paste. This is boost 64-bit build. Click OK. In this case, we also have to change the path. For this DLL path should be open. I will select path, edit, new, paste. Hit enter. We also have to change the path for DLL files. Now click OK, click OK, click OK. For more information, please refer to this script. I will post this script in the description section below.